Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it could be love, it could be finances, work, it's whatever comes out. It will not resonate with every Aries out there, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, messages for my Aries, please, Spirit. What does Aries need to know? I've combined two oracle cards, the Enchanted Map and the Energy Oracle cards. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards and then I'll clarify with the tarot. Real quick, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed or commented in my videos. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what we have for my Aries. So time is fluid, remember, so this could already be happening is currently happening wait this could have recently happened is currently happening or could happen in the future i know what i'm trying to say spirit please messages for my aries okay thank you what else do they need to know okay let me pull these up back here. okay so we have mountain so far and gentle gardener okay I'm going to look up the gentle gardener, but I know that the mountain is all about overcoming an obstacle, trying to find a strategy to overcome an obstacle that is, could, could feel as big as a mountain. Gentle gardener, I'm getting the sense that some of you are trying to grow something. I'll take this one. Community. Interesting. This reminds me a lot of the three of cups. Okay, let me really quickly look at this gentle gardener so I can just double check. Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. Gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant, blah, blah. So this is definitely all about creating something, um, nurturing something so that something else can grow, believing that what you're planting will grow. With community here, I'm just getting um, that this could be in regards to like a friend group, work group, you know, any anything like that. Um, this is all about sharing ideas, uh, supporting each other. Um, it could be casual connection or it could be a business partnership. It could be all about networking and community. Universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. So that's very interesting. It could be meeting people that will propel you forward, that will help you overcome an obstacle. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Messages for my Aries, please, spirit. Messages for my Aries. What does Aries need to know? All right. What does Aries need to know, spirit? Okay, I have two of swords, so some sort of decision. Feeling stuck. I have temperance, sign of Sagittarius, all about balance and patience. Healing as well. Temperance is also someone that has a, a feet in and a, and a foot out. A foot in and a foot out. So you could be testing the waters of something. I just got that. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. This is all about, she's very generous. She is stable, dedicated, hardworking. She's in a long-term committed relationship. Whoa. And she's financially secure as well. This could be the energy that you are having this month, Aries. Six of Cups. Interesting. This could be um, past life connection, nostalgia, soulmate type of connection as well. Could be an X. We'll see. What else do you have for my Aries? Knight of Pentacles. Interesting, with the Knight of Pentacles under the Temperance here, I feel like there's a very slow offer coming your way. It's taking its sweet time is what I'm getting here.
nine of cups okay so whatever is happening here i'm going to clarify all of these um aries it's it's gonna it's gonna be what you've been wanting your wish being granted here seven of pentacles under the deck so again some of you have been waiting here dental gardener and seven of pentacles a very similar energy someone who's put a lot of effort and thought into something Tell me about the Two of Swords. What decision are you guys thinking about here? What's this Two of Swords about for Aries? Seven of Cups. You, you That's why you haven't made a decision. There's too many options. Tell me about Temperance. Okay. Temperance and Justice. Sign of Sagittarius. Sign of uh, Libra here. There's a balancing of a situation here. Could be a legal matter for some of you. For others of you, it could be contracts. And then for others of you, it's just the rebalancing of a situation, making things right. Making a decision that will make things um, kind of um, back on the right path is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I'm not sure what this is about just yet. I don't have any like clear love cards on the table here. Um, or, I mean, it could be an offer here of love. It could be an offer for work with the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, she's also, oh wow, Ace of Pentacles. Someone's making a stable offer here, or, or Spirit is granting you a stability, financial abundance, something big with the Pentacle. I feel like this is something that is going to put you on more grounded solid footing i also feel like with gentle gardener here and the seven of pentacles um, that came out i feel like you've overcome obstacles you've played your cards right and now you're going to get this new stability tell me about the six of cups this could have something to do with your past Flip over. Ugh. No, I don't think so. Okay. Tell me about those six of cups, please, for my Aries. Last two weeks in February. Interesting. Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? I feel like this is you playing your cards right. Page of Wands. Interesting. I feel like some of you have been strategizing, trying to find the best way to go about a situation. Page of Wands, he is a go-getter, but almost, almost like he doesn't really know what he's doing. He just knows he wants to go after what he's passionate about, what creative idea he has. There could be someone that from your past or someone that you have a very strong connection with here with the Six of Cups, and you're kind of strategizing on how to go about this, how to make this happen for yourself. I find it interesting that in this in this um, deck, he's trying to climb down a mountain. Almost like you're trying to get over an obstacle of some sort. You're trying to go around this obstacle in a more strategic way. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for Aries. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Oh. Knight of Pentacles, please, for Aries. Why, why is this here? Four of Swords. I saw Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Why the Four of Swords? Maybe that's, that's why it's taking so long, because someone's not communicating or moving quick quickly enough. Um, yeah, Four of Pentacles. So, someone's holding back on communication. I have Eight of Wands. Someone's taking their very sweet time making this happen, bringing this pentacle in. Um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to decide, you know, what to do because you don't... You, you, I feel like you've been taking so much time trying to grow something, have something happen, 
and it's not happening um, because, you know, there's something going on down here. It's almost like you're wondering if you should even keep going. That's what I'm getting. But I think you should. I have the Nine of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this, this could lead towards marriage or just long-term stability. Whatever the situation is. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What is Aries wishing for? What is your wish? In re okay. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like a lot of you want stability here. A lot of you want to, to finally be settled and it's not happening yet because the Wheel of Fortune is at play here. It's going to happen in divine timing. It's not going to happen when you expect it to. I think Pisces had a very similar reading. Um, there's the tower under the deck. So there could be something that is bringing down a foundation. I feel like there's an obstacle you're trying to overcome here and it's it's it hasn't happened as quickly because the divine timing is at play. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. I just want to see if I get any more. Thank you. The Empress. Beautiful. Okay, so this could be a new offer of love because some Empress is beauty and love. That's what she she embodies beauty, love, and creativity. So this could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to an offer that makes you more stable. An offer that allows you to grow with the gentle gardener up there. Tell me more about this Empress. I'm still trying to get clarity here. Because I know some, some of you are probably wondering that are watching this what this is all about. Tell me more about this Empress. But guys, you know, I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to keep clarifying until I get the answer. Um... You know, I, I don't think it works that way. It's whatever spirit wants to share. So one more card and then we're going to wrap it up. Three of swords. Interesting. So this could, could be that some of you um, are have gone through something painful or something very hard with the mountain here. An obstacle. I feel like a lot of you have overcome this three of swords energy. It could be because of this six of cups here. It could be because of this Knight of Pentacles. But there's been a rebalancing here with the Temperance and Justice. And I feel like this is a beautiful set of cards to have. If you're wanting love, I really feel like this is there with the Queen of Pentacles, Empress, and the Ace of Pentacles. If you're wanting job, it's here. If you're wanting just more stability at work or at home, it's here. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate you guys commenting, subscribing, and liking my videos. I will see you guys in my next one.